Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Things are happening. Um, like I said, I'm trying to do a video every day until I get this thing completed. Um, I'm one of them guys who, uh, you know, gotta put himself in a bind before he actually does get anything done. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm putting myself in this challenge. You know, um, video every day until um, live stream time. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing this this video. If you didn't watch my last video, please do. It'll give you a little idea of what's going on. And you gotta subscribe, hit the notification bell to get all the goodies at the end. But at any rate, I gotta prep the tank. So let me uh, go ahead and flip this around and let me show you how I'm doing this tank, all right? All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna rinse out the inside. Uh, if it's an old tank, you wanna rinse it out with, with vinegar and water. That'll kill any of the bacteria. This tank is, um, I just rinsed it out with the water hose because it had water in it a couple days ago. But because I don't want to transfer anything, even though I know there's not there's not going to be anything that one fish wouldn't have than other fish in my particular situation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that later on. Just give it a, a nice little rag. But uh, normally if you have a tank that you haven't put together yet, you want to sit it outside. <laughs> and you're going to have to excuse the the scream and that's my daughter having a good time but normally you want to um you know fill it up leave it outside for 24 hours make sure it don't leak then go ahead and rinse it down with vinegar and water i know it don't leak i'm gonna go ahead and rinse it um down with vinegar and water after but first i'm gonna go ahead and paint this thing because it's the biggest pain in the butt and once it's painted you can put it in place and you don't have to move it again so let's go ahead and get it painted um first thing you want to do is get yourself some um, alcohol, you go to the dollar store, get some Walgreens, whatever, cheap stuff, get yourself some type of tissue, just toilet tissue, butt ribbon, um, dookie paper, whatever you want to call it, some tape, normally you want to use painter's tape or like um, electrical tape or something, I've seen people do that, I don't have any of that right now, and I do got duct tape, because I do duct work for a living for AC, so I have that, some um, paint brushes, these are the paint brushes I use for other tank painting projects, and... You're going to want um, some type of uh, um, paint. Now, um, you can use spray paint, but I, 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 I do so many tanks, spray paint gets costly. And I had this tank when I, this, this paint when I moved in, this is house paint, right? Interior paint. Uh, now, um, I'm going to be honest with you, you don't know, know, necessarily want to use this. Um, I had it laying around, and like I said, um, this, this thing, this, uh, this fish stuff and YouTube stuff could get costly. And I used it on a tank already and it did actually really well. So I really like the way, I really like the way when you put a lot of bubbles in the water and get the top of the water shimming and you use LED lights, I really like the way it shimmers. And it's funny because that wall paint right there is the same color, but when you put it under the lights with a little bit of, it's the coolest color. So I, I want to recreate that for the live stream, right? So the first thing you want to do is tape you can, I mean, you can clean it up while it's untaped, but, um, sorry, shook camera or earthquake, you'll never know. Um, you want to, um, either, you could do, you could do the tape afterward or prior to, I, I, I just did it already prior to. So, um, because you get fingerprints, it gets stuff on it. When you put paint on it, if it's not a completely clean surface, the paint will peel or it won't stick at all. Um, or it won't catch. So you want to put some alcohol on it. And you want to, you know, just clean it up, right? Get the surface perfectly clean so that um, when you apply the paint, it, it holds on nice. And you want it to squeak, right? You want it to squeak. There used to be a commercial back in the day. I think it was for like palm olive way back in the day. And um, whenever you was cleaning Tupperware or dishes or whatever, and you use this... Uh, this particular soap, they had a, you know, the lady, they was like, hey, it's nice and clean, and, and then they would squeak, they would squeak it, they'd be like, that's how you know it's clean, the squeak, or whatever, so anyway, that's what you want, you want the squeak, all right, here we go, it's all squeaky and clean, to be honest with you, I already did this once before, but because I had all this stuff on there, I could have possibly transferred something onto it, so I just went ahead and did it again for good measure, all right, so now you're ready. You want this to dry off a little bit, so let's let it let's let it sit, let's let it percolate, and uh, give it about five minutes so the alcohol is completely dried off, and then we'll go ahead and paint it. All right, so it's pretty much uh, sufficiently dried. So look, 
if you had a paint roller and a little paint thing, you could use a paint roller. Um, but honestly, I, I always put so much on here. I don't even bother with the paint roller. Oh, that's a little bit more than I'm was planning on putting on. That's now I gotta, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. <laughs> All right. So look, here's the thing with this paint. All right, and even with the the paint from the uh, the spray paint, when you put it on there, when you when it starts to dry, it it it, it leaves like gashes, like like gaps. Like you see, like right there, it'll it'll come apart like that. So I'm gonna probably end up putting because of those gaps, like three coats. So I don't really care about putting a lot on there. The only the only thing a lot, like putting a lot on there, when the only time it becomes a problem is when it starts to spill. So make sure, son of a monkey. All right, see, I'm spilling it. It's getting everywhere. Look, I never claim to be a painter, okay? But like you can see, like right there. It's coming, it, it, it separates. Maybe it's because I didn't shake it enough. I haven't really found a reason why it does that, but it does. And here's the thing about the paint, even if you get it on the parts that you don't want. Oh yeah, I didn't say, I didn't mention that um, on, the, on the first part of the video. When you're taping off the, when you're taping off the tank, you wanna tape off the, uh, the edges. If you paint the edges, I mean, that's up to you. I just don't, I, I like the edges to be black. The molding is what it's called. And you want to tape off the front right here where the front of the glass is to get so you don't get no paint on it. But if you do get paint on it, no biggie. A razor blade will take it off toot sweet. All right. So look, see there. There's no science to it. This is the back, the back right here. So if it drips down the back, I don't care because I'm going to still paint that. So see, I put on way more than I should have. Look at it. It's not supposed to really pull up like that but maybe it won't um gap up as much this is not hey look i did this video to show you how to do it but it turned into a video on how not to do it don't put so much paint let me get it to the edge so it drips off the back end yeah that's that's a lot of paint it's gonna take forever to dry i don't think i'm getting to this uh entire video today i don't think it's gonna get done today to me get this off of here because it started to go under the front of the glass <laughs> yeah this is way more pain <laughs> than I should have put and uh I mean while it's gonna come out looking good it's gonna take a while because of how much pain I put on that <laughs> oh my god what did I do uh all right so this is a, a tank that I have in the um in the uh, little fish shed, I, I sell these, these are little flower horns. But you see the shimmer? And you see the color of the um, background? It's got like a blue hue. That's that's what I want, that's what I want right there. So that's why I'm gonna use that paint. And because it's gonna have plants in it, there's gonna be greenery in front of it, so I think it'll pop real nice. Look, nobody's perfect, all right? But, like I said, this started out being a video on how to um, and just, just, just switch it. How not to? How about that? The title: How not to paint your tank background. <laughs> That's gonna be the title, or maybe what not to do when painting your aquarium fish tank background. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said, I'm not gonna make you um, wait to watch paint dry. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, but I'm gonna be doing a video tomorrow showing you the, uh, the finished product, hopefully. <laughs>